So unless you're working on your own, for most people, they want to share their access to their analytics with multiple members of their team. And that's what I'm going to show you how to do in this video. So once you're into your analytics account, you'll notice at the bottom left corner, there is an admin icon. It looks like a little gear. Uh, if you click on that admin icon, that's going to take you over to this screen. And you'll see there's three columns usually, which is the account, the property, and the view. This changes a little bit once you move over to uh, Google Analytics 4, but for the most part, it looks the same. What we're going to want to do in, in most cases is you're going to want to go with the account access management. Um, that just helps, uh, like if you're working with a consultant or um, someone who's managing your analytics, you want them to be able to create additional properties. Um, then you want, then you definitely want to go with account access. If not, then it's possible to do property access as well. Um, let's jump into account access management and I'll show you what we got to do from there. Basically, you just click on this plus icon up at the top. You can click add users and all you really have to do is enter in the email address of the person that you want to add. Like that. We'll, and then you can select their role down here. So you can say administrator, editor, analyst, viewer, or none. Um, in this case, I want the person to have administrator access. For example, if I'm setting up this account for one of my clients, I would be an administrator, but then I would also grant them administrator access as well, so that if something ever happens to me or if they need to get access, they have full access to their account as well. So I set that person up as an administrator and I click add. It's as easy as that. So now you can see both of those people have access to my analytics account. I'm Ricky Jones with the Concierge Web Company. Follow and like for more videos like this.